back, Rams. Let's get started with Corbin's weekly sports segment. This is Ram Nation News. We're back with the last sport of fall, girls swim and dive. What's the best part about swim? Dropping time. When it's done. Yeah. Um, the team environment and having a good team with that everyone gets along. Uh, the friends you make and just getting to compete. When you get the best time you've ever gotten and beat a record on the record board. Swimming. Hanging with my teammates and eating the food afterwards. That sounds miserable. What's the worst part about swim? Yardage. 6,000 yards <laughs> every day. <Yeah. laughs> uh, probably having to do all these amount of sets in such little time intervals. We have this one week where we do the most yards we can with the fastest in our goals, which is the hardest week. Probably the swim meet and all the pressure of that and then failing at a race that you're really hoping to win. Not swimming. Probably the hard sets. Best part of dive? Um, probably that I've broken both of the school records and my name's on the board. What's the worst part of dive? I have to go to practice in Kalamazoo five days a week, so it's quite a drive. If I ever forgot your sport, talk to Canyon. He would love to have a conversation about it. This is Corbin from Ram Nation News. We also got Corbin with the starting of said winter sports. Winter sports are just around the corner. So, here's some information you should know about joining winter sports. Good morning. Um, so, South Haven High School offers a number of winter sports. Um, you can find the information I'm about to give you if you look at our Facebook page, which is South Haven Athletics. Uh, we do offer boys and girls basketball, competitive cheer, bowling for both boys and girls, wrestling, ski, and boys swim and dive in the winter. Most of these sports are going to kick up in November. November is fairly quiet as far as actual contests. Most of the contests begin in December and carry on over uh, past Christmas into January and February and wrap up sometime in March. Um, it's a little bit less dense than is the fall season, um, but you know, on any given week we'll have at least one wrestling meet and a couple basketball games, usually a swim meet, um, competitive cheer competition. If you still want to sign up, you can. Sign up sheets are just outside the athletic office. Corbin, Ram Nation News. Well, that's when the winter sports are going to be happening. And I know I'm excited for basketball. Now, a quick word from our sponsors. Hey, Austin, what's this I hear about a school play this weekend? That's right, Eli. Our fall play is this weekend, Friday and Saturday at 7 p.m. Tickets are $5 for students and 7 for adults. The fall play is a great way to see some familiar faces and support the school. Well, looks like that wraps up our Ram Nation news segment for this week. I hope you guys all enjoyed. We got Rams, we got news, and we got Corbin behind the camera. Corbin behind the camera. Take one. We're making history with the History Club. Hello, I'm Austin Cave, and this is Ram Nation News, and today we're going to be going through what's so good about History Club. By the looks of it, History Club has a great amount of members, so let's hear from a couple of them. When is History Club? Sometime in October. The kickoff is like the 22nd, 26th, I it's think. It's this weekend. It's, it's Wednesday. Yeah. It's Wednesday. Whatever. What do you do in said History Club? Um, we do a bunch of research, a lot of research and reading on a topic we choose, and it's pretty fun. And out of all clubs, why History Club? Uh, looks really good on college applications, and it's pretty swag. Thank you. You're welcome. I heard you guys do competitions. How are those? They're pretty fun. Um, we They usually start in February, and we go to Western. And um, we show our projects um, with a bunch of other schools, and if we win, we go to state. How much time does your project usually take? Months. Months on months? Yeah. All right, a thank lot you. Of months. Why should people join History Club? It's fun. When is History Club? I don't know. <laughs> oh, there you are. Well, this wraps up our History Club segment, and I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to go check them out also. And this was Austin K with the Ram Nation News. 
we have some phenomenal artists in the high school here. Let's take a deep dive into Art Club. This week, I'm going to be talking about Art Club. Art Club doesn't officially start till next month, but here are some things that they are going to be doing. I'm going to be doing an Art Club. In Art Club, we are going to be working on uh, club projects as a group. We're going to start with more team building uh, crafts, but we're hoping to accomplish greater things like maybe a mural project in the future. People join Art Club. People should be joining Art Club because they want to express themselves, but also uh, learn team building and know how to execute their ideas. You should join Art Club because it gives you time after school to create art with more supplies than you might have at home. This is Sarah Rickett reporting from Ram Nation News. Right. Allah, Allahu Akbar. Canyon, how'd you feel about the new Hocus Pocus movie? You know, I actually really liked it. You know, Listen up! We were running wild and so reviled. Sisters, she's the wing, she's the witches of that. Watch the way that we fly, the way that you'll die. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think this movie is possible to this day. And it's not charming or sweet like the original. And I think the ridiculousness of it turned 2000's Disney Channel corny really fast. I think it's unevenly plotted and it was hard to understand and follow. I love the first movie and I think the plot makes sense and the characters are way better. This is a stretch. This is such a horrible take. It's not worth anyone's time. I did not like the supporting actors. They felt like two kids who just got done with their Disney Channel auditions. I've seen high school plays with better acting. This whole movie felt like the worst Disney Channel special I've ever seen. It reminded me of Descendants, which is also a horrible movie with a horrible soundtrack. I thought the special effects actually made the movie worse, and they seemed like they were stolen straight from the 2000s. The whole thing lacked the charm and the sincereness of the first movie, and I thought it was a horrible tribute to the original. Up next, Canyon's GSA segment. Yeah. Hello everyone, this is Canyon Fitch with Ram Nation News, and this segment is going to be on GSA. What is GSA? Um, GSA is our uh, school gender sexuality alliance. Why do we have GSA? GSA is for students who identify as queer or transgender or uh, any LGBT uh, minority for us to organize and feel a part of a community. When is GSA? GSA is every Tuesday from 2.30 to 3.30. Why should you go to GSA? Well, GSA is a great way to learn about the LGBTQ plus community, whether you are a part of it or not. And it's also a great just community of people who are a part of it and who are accepting of it. It's really just kind of a safe space. And we do a lot of learning about places that can, that are trying to help people in our community that are like in South Haven or the surrounding area. So it's really just a great place to learn and to find safe spaces. This is Ram Nation News, and you've been newsing with us Rams. Thank you guys so much for watching. You know, awesome. it's really You're special for Oops. you guys to come out here and just like watch Ram Nation News with us. You know, we, hey, hey. Thanks for watching. Thank you for Ram watching. Nation Ram Nation News. Nation News. News. For you. You. Better than CNN.